About one in 10 Afghans is disabled, a legacy of decades of war and poor health care. In 1999, Dost Mohammed Kheri contracted Guillaume-Barre syndrome, an infection that attacks the nervous system. He's one of 9,000 Afghans given refuge in the United States in September the 11th. He set up an organization here to help disabled Afghans, and recently he made his first trip back. I learning uh, from my own life in the United States as a disabled person. I think that's it's a school for me. Uh, it's all giving me a lot of idea. I've been working on a non-profit organization, Afghanistan Friends Rehabilitation Sun. So I decided to go and check everything and witness everything by my own eye. In Afghanistan, disabled mean God punishment. God hate you and made it paralyzed. The people are always seeing the, the disabled people differently. In the very low level. Not allow them to talk, not allow them to be part of anything or count them as a human being. They are being armed by the Taliban. They are commanding suicide attack. This, this, these people is a really cheap force for the Taliban. They are ready to die because they don't have any hope. It was uh, 2001 and the Taliban regime was removed. I, I came here and I stayed like a couple months. My name is Yosin, I'm a physiotherapist and I work uh, since uh, 10 years in the ICRC Orthopedic Center. Because I am disabled and I work with disabled people, uh, I know how is this problem, uh, what he needs. The doctor who is disabled is just the best friend for the patient. He feels their pain. I'm just thinking why the Afghan Disabled Ministry is not copying or not learning from here to, to, to do a better job for the disabled in Afghanistan. Yeah, I cannot give you the answer on that. Okay. Yeah. This is something, it's not in our hands. And I think um, what we do, we try to show the example. Uh, if it gives good results, we can only hope that one day the Afghan uh, people will be able to take over. Yeah, the same as we do. This is the first ramp we seeing in here, in, in the whole country. Because this is the Ministry of Social Affairs and Disabled, so they have a little thing to prove that this ministry is accessible. But it's not accessible. I don't want to die. Afghanistan government needs to establish a very independent commission for the disabled people, away from other ministry. There is a big change in Afghanistan. There is a lot of reconstruction. Highways, hospitals, schools. I heard that nine million girls and women or 
going to score after September 11. There's like more than 10 TV channels broadcasting movies and shows, song, uh, uh, drama, uh, news. Actually, it's hard to believe that people having this opportunity and having such a free life. This trip will make me more active and make me more hopeful to, to keep uh, doing my political and my social activities. The only thing can bring change for the Afghan disabled is to change the system.